Hello everyone and be surprised all of you. Uh, before we start, we we told you before that we are going to start doing live podcast in different channel, uh, but look like until now, most of you do not even know about it. Uh, we will post for you the link, so please subscribe because we are going to move there and we will do broadcast for some time in that channel. Uh, maybe we will do a couple of broadcasts more until then, uh, just to be sure that all of you knows about it. Today our topic is about the Quran calling us people of the book. You know, Islam as a religion, as many people call it religion, for me, I believe it is far away from even to be considered as a religion. Islam is a collection of cults, not even collection of religions. And uh, Muhammad, he had to go to his origin, which is as an Arab uh, of uh, Quraysh, who practice pagan practice, which is the Kaaba. There was 26 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula, and this is just one of them. And the Kaaba was a religious place and a practice of business uh, because religion always was a business, especially in the Middle East. And Muhammad is a businessman. And he even he described his religion in the Quran as Allah told him, should I lead you to a commercial, a bazaar, a business? That is the business of Allah. The Muslims believe if they touch stones in the Kaaba, those stones, there is two corners. One have the black stone and the other one called the Yemeni corner. If you touch them, they erase your sin. And we know and no Muslim can deny that the Muslims kissed the black stone and Muhammad himself kissed the black stones. And this is nothing but a pagan practice, going around the room, believing in a holy room, kissing black stones, stones erasing our sin. If this is not paganism, what is paganism then? However, our topic today is about the people of the book. If we go in the Quran and we search, in this, uh, I, I cannot even call it a book. The Quran is a collection of, I don't know if I can at all call it article, statement. It's very funny and very stupid book. And by the way, I will open my pal talk soon. If there is any Muslim, he have the courage to call me and to prove me wrong that Islam is not based in a stupid book, I will be, you know, be happy to have you. Uh, and this is the proof, the first proof we will provide today. The Quran call us Ahlul Kitab. What Ahlul Kitab mean? Ahlul Kitab mean people of the book. All those verses in the front of us speaking about us as people of the scriptures. Actually, it doesn't say people of scriptures, the people of the book specifically, because scriptures not necessarily is a book. In Arabic, it says people of the book. And here, I find this very funny and very stupid. Always we see Muslims accusing our book to be corrupt. Then we find the prophet look like he is not smart like the Muslims saying that we are the people of the book so here we have to find who is a stupid in this you know in this uh, argument the one who says our book is corrupt or the one who says no they are people of the book to make it simple for the naive ones from the muhammadan how you call us people of the book in the same time you say to us we don't have book no more Do we understand, guys, what I'm saying? How we are called people of the book in the time of Muhammad. And how the Muslims, they say to us, for 300 years, for 300 years, not even a single church father said the Trinity, which is a lie. It's because who is Mark and who is Luke and who is John? If those are not the church father, who is the church father? <laughs> 
and we have hundreds of names but they are copy paste you know somebody make a statement they like it they copy it and they speak about it but nobody even understand what he's talking about however I will go with the Abdul who keeps saying to us that your book is corrupt but now that you are that's mean you are saying to me that your prophet is mentally ill listen our book is corrupt but yet your prophet he call us people of the book I mean how stupid is that How stupid to call somebody the guy with the car, but yet he don't have a car. Do we have any Muslim would like to say something? No problem. We are referring to the Bible. The Quran referring to our Bible too. Don't you see? The Quran, when he call us people of the book, he is referring to our Bible. So how we are people of the book, yet we don't have a book no more. Because if we have a corrupt book, it means we don't have a book. That's stupid. That is literally stupid. It's like saying, the healthy guy, but you are sick. That is stupid. It's like saying the 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 the, the smart people, and then yet they are crazy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why you call them? How you call them people of the book? Yet they don't have a book no more. So either the Muslims today they are corrupt people who have nothing to do with Islam, and because it's driven of their propaganda and agenda just to fight Christianity with any cause with any mean. Or Muhammad himself is an idiot. He do not know what he is saying. Uh, Vegas, uh, why, why you keep repeating the same statement? I, I know the Muslims refer to our book. This is what I'm talking about. What's wrong with you? This is what we are talking about. The Muslims refer to our book. We are people of the book. We are people of the book of God. You keep saying to me they refer to our book we know this is the topic how we are called people of the book if we don't have a book aren't they say to us 24 hours seven days a week your book is gone is corrupt which means it does not exist no more so how stupid it is to say to us you have no book no more yet you call me people of the book Do you understand? Do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim want to explain to us how stupid that idea is? Any Muhammadan? No Muhammad have an answer as usual. As usual, there is nothing, nothing new in this in this case. Here we notice, and always actually notice that the Quran speaks stupid because look at this if you go just a few verses down chapter 3 verse number 70 <laughs> oh people of the scriptures why you disbelieve in ayat of Allah I mean how stupid that is how they believe in the scriptures which is supposedly the scriptures of Allah yet they don't believe in the scriptures of Allah <laughs> look look at this oh people of the scripture okay Muslim Allah is speaking about which is scriptures the Abdul they will say to you he is talking about the scriptures which he sent to Isa and Moses okay wonderful that make it his scriptures isn't it they will say yes 
This is the script that is sent by Allah. Okay, so let's make a note here. This is Allah's script, sir. Allah scripture, brother. Okay. So how he call us people of the scriptures, and yet he say that we don't believe in ayat. What ayat? Muhammad did not do anything. Muhammad he broke Quran, so we don't believe in the Quran. So how we believe in the scriptures, but we don't believe in the scriptures? Hmm? Between two brackets, the translator he explained to you, he says, the verses about Muhammad. Huh? Present in the Torah and the Injil. Where, where it says that? This is a false translation, by the way. In the Torah and the Injil? Where? This is a false translation. They are trying to fabricate. It's about the verses in the Quran. The Quran. Why you don't believe in the Quran? And as long as they have the scriptures, why do they need Muhammad? If somebody is called, you see, just change the translator, you will see how the translation change. I mean, those people, they are officially liars when they translate. They love to fabricate and add things that's not there. Let us see a different donkey. Look, see how translation change? Ye people of the book, why you reject the signs of Allah, which you are your self-witness, we, we, our self-witness? What we witness, Muslims, what we witness, what is the sign of Allah we witness? Any Muslim have an idea what this book is talking about? What signs, like what? Isn't it Allah in the Quran? He said in different verse that Allah he refrained from sending signs. I mean, this book is made by a, by a mental person. Read carefully, chapter seventeen, verse number fifty-nine. And we refrain from sending the signs only because the man of a former generation treated treated them as false. Guys, Allah is joining the yellow vest in France. He have a strike. I will not do sign to you no more. Otherwise, I send you sign and miracles and you reject them. So Allah, he have no problem to send signs with all the messengers before Muhammad. But only in the time of Muhammad, Allah, he don't want to do give signs no more. Okay, hold on. Isn't it the Muslim they say to us? That the Quran itself is a sign of Allah, it's a miracle. Muslims, how the Quran saying Allah refrain from giving sign, but the Quran itself is a miracle because that would be stupid. It's like saying to you, I am not going to make coffee during the time I am making coffee. Or I say to you, I am not going to talk, but by saying that, I broke my promise not to talk. So how Allah refrained from sending signs, but by saying we refrain from sending signs, he made a miracle. And by the way, look, look, look at this amazing miracle. They said, you can you make Quran like this? So if you, if you say, and we refrain from sending sign only because of man of former generation, that's a miracle, supposedly. Nobody can make Quran like this. That's it. Can you make Quran like this? Let me show you something about the stupid uh, challenge for making Quran like this. The Muslims they keep saying to us, this is chapter 21, verse number five. The Muhammadan keeps saying, Okay, can you make Quran like this? 
Brother, can you make Quran like this? Look what the Arab they said to Muhammad. The Arab, they are making fun of the Quran. They say this is stupid. This is like a guy is suffering from illusion. It's a fraud. He's trying to make a point. And then they said to him, let him then bring us a sign like the one we are sent to prophet of old. That's logical. They did not like what he says and the Quran was not amazing for them and they were not astonished as the Muslim they say to us. They were making fun of it. And they say, if you are really truly a prophet, give us a sign. And this is why Allah, because it is Muhammad, not Allah, he said, we refrain. They are asking for a sign, we refrain. <laughs> hey Allah, dear, Muhammad, why you don't have a sign? Allah will answer you. Allah will answer you. You are asking me for a sign like Allah Prophet, the Prophet before me. I understand. But I will tell you why I don't have a sign because uh, Allah refrain. So why you Muslim, you say to us, the Prophet Muhammad, he has miracles. One of them is lying. The one who tell us the stories about miracles of Muhammad in the Hadith, which we cannot find in the Quran. I mean, isn't it funny all those stupid fabrication is exist only in the hadith we cannot find any of those miracles in the quran even in the quran we cannot find where muhammad he went to the seven heaven we cannot there's a chapter in the quran it's called the chapter al-isra which is our reading from now right now if you go to the first verse the Muslim keep talking about Muhammad. He took in a top of a flying mule to the seven heaven, blah, 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 11. But it doesn't say that. Nowhere it says that Allah, he took Muhammad to the heaven. I mean, isn't it stupid? Allah, he have time to tell us about Suleiman. He heard the ant saying to the other ant, hide. He have time for that. But he have no time to tell us that he took Muhammad to heaven. In the whole Quran, not even a single verse speaking about Muhammad going to heaven. The Quran mentioned Muhammad having fight with his wife, but the Quran forgot to mention the journey of Muhammad to heaven. By the way, yesterday I went to heaven and came back. I don't ask me for witnesses. I always those things happen to me when there's nobody around. Muhammad the prophet who have no witnesses, who have no miracles, he have no signs and he have nothing but a stupid which we can't even call it a book. Never was a book by the way. It was a collection of statement. This is why if you read the Quran you will find there is no connection between the verse before and the verse after. Look at this. The chapter we are reading from. A glory to Allah who did take his servant. Okay, who is the one saying a glory to Allah? Muslims, who is the one saying a glory to Allah? How Allah, he says a glory to Allah. Who did take his servant? Allah, he says who? Allah saying a glory to Allah. Who took his servant? Does that work for you? In which language is that? Hmm? Obviously, the book is written by somebody and he is making a statement. And then suddenly, Muhammad, he jumped from him going in a journey, suddenly speaking about Moses. What Moses have to do with this? What does verse have to do with this verse? And what this verse have to do with this verse? O ye that our sprung from those whom we carried in the ark. What the ark? Look, look, look how the, 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 the chapter started. Muhammad, he went in a journey. Supposedly to the, uh, 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 to the farther uh, uh, house. It doesn't even say Jerusalem. Nobody knows where this location is. 
And then suddenly he goes to Moses. We gave Moses a book. What, what this has what this verse have to do with this verse? Huh? What this verse have to do with this verse? Nothing. This is what they call the flight of thoughts. And this is a proof that the book cannot be even made even by a guy. His name is Muhammad. This is a collection of statements. You know, they, they, they insert them everywhere. This is why they don't make sense. And then we gave Moses the book and then he go to the Ark of Noah. What does this have to do with this? And then from the Ark of Noah, we go and talk about Israel. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the most funny thing about this Quran that uh, Allah he says always it may be your Lord <laughs> it may be it may be may, what, Allah saying it may be Allah saying it may be Allah he will forgive you what do you mean? Maybe who? Maybe how? Maybe nice to meet you. When we say maybe, it's mean the guy is talking, he is not sure. What do you mean maybe? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim would like to give me a call live on air in Pal Talk? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? A Muslim, he have a knowledge to give you a chance to defend your cult. Do we have anyone? Any brave Muslim who have knowledge? Thank you guys for the nice and the kind words. We appreciate them. Any Muslim, he is proud to be a Muhammadan. He would like to give me a call. Okay, Nami Ape, you are a Muslim. All right, make a pal talk name and give me your ID, please. I will call you. All right. Give me your ID in pal talk. I will add you and I will I will call you immediately. <clears throat> yeah but we need uh, we need to have his name so we can call him any Muslim would like to speak to me live you are more than welcome now here in this verse we have something stupid anyone notice what the stupid thing here Anyone notice what is a stupid in this verse? How this book is going to guide us to what is more right if this book contain verses which is abrogated, which means they are not valid, and verses which is not abrogated. How we will know which verse is abrogated, which not is which one is not. You know what I mean, guys? As an example. The Quran, we will find verses saying, don't marry from non-Muslims. Another verse in the Quran, it says, marry from non-Muslims. So how this book will guide us if there is a contradiction? The Muslim, they say, this is not a contradiction. This is abrogation. That's wonderful. Where in the Quran it says that this verse abrogate this verse? Not only that. When you say this Quran, that's mean the Quran alone is enough for guidance. But the Quran is an empty book. As an example, where we can find the punishment for rape in the Quran. 
nowhere where we can find the punishment for adultery for married people in the Quran nowhere where we can find that muta which is one night stand is forbidden in the Quran because the Quran allowed it in chapter 4 verse number 24 nowhere so how this Quran can be a book as a guide for the bath in fact it is going to do the opposite is going to make us confused this is why the Shia they believe that the muta never been abrogated and they are right there's no verse in the Quran that says it's abrogated so how this is can be a book for the right path Do we have any Muslim want to call us? And not only that, the abrogation statement is very stupid. Uh, uh, Mr. Trueheart, he can call me in, in, in Pal Talk. I don't use Skype. Uh, Pal Talk is for free. He can download it. The same he download uh, Skype, he can download Pal Talk. Uh, and the abrogation story in the Quran is nothing but a false excuse for a false prophet. And let me show you how that can be. The Muslim, they say to us that we memorize the Quran by heart. Allah, he says, no. The ones who says that to you, they are liars. I, even me, made the Muslims forget the Quran. Read carefully. None of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better or similar. Okay, hold on. So Allah did not forget to mention that the Christians are the people of the book, and he kept repeating, kept repeating, kept repeating, and he never abrogated that name. Did you notice that? People of the book is a name was used for the Christians and the Jews from the time of supposedly Isa, as they call him, until now the name never abrogated so what Allah abrogated who is the Muslim want to tell me what is the verses Allah abrogated and where he said where are they or what are they this is a chapter of the cow I hope there is no Hindus listening because they might convert to Islam now Any Muslim can tell me if this is a book which is a book of guidance. Did Allah made notes that the verses, the following verse, and the following verse, and the following verses are abrogated? Because he just said <laughs> there is verses we abrogate them. But now there's nowhere in the Quran says which verses are abrogated. So how we will know which verses are abrogated? Any Muhammadan? Any Muslim can tell us where in the Quran Allah he mentioned the verses which he's talking about, the abrogated one? Any Muhammadan? You see, when I say to you that I have, I gave you a book, okay, and now I, I, I you know, I have my books. I make an, uh, they call it edition, right? If you change something in the book, you, they make edition. Did Allah provide us with edition, book, like Quran edition? No. So when the Quran says, confirming two things, Allah, he did. He caused Muslims to forget the Quran and he abrogated the Quran. How we will know what is forgotten and what is abrogated and again the guys the admin they are posting for you my other page in youtube please subscribe because soon we will start broadcasting there this account will go for steve for some time any muslim can tell us the muslims they say to you well, in order to understand what verses are abrogated, then we have to go to the hadith. Not true. 
even in the hadith it doesn't say what is abrogated you have you have to guess because first of all the hadith is not approved by all Muslims depend in the sect this is number one number two even the same sect they have a problem with the hadith so how the hadith can be a source of Islam but the Quran says that this book is the source of guidance Any Muhammadan? That is stupid. But let me tell you, tell you what happened. Muhammad, because he's a false prophet, he cannot repeat the verse twice, same time. Like in the morning, he say, Bismillah, Allahman, Allahim, Alhamdulillahi. Afternoon, he says, Alhamdulillahi, Labbil Alameen, Bismillah, Allahman, Allahim. Okay, so he's mixing things up now. So people they start asking him, What is that, man? You just said something different. So Muhammad he says, None of our revelation we abrogated or caused to be forgotten. Why Muhammad saying Allah he caused Muslims to forget the Quran? Why Allah wanna cause you to forget the Quran? Allah he sent the Quran and he now he wanna cause you to forget the Quran. Why? He found that his Quran is stupid, it does not make sense. Hey Muhammad, do you understand me? How Allah He sent Quran, yet He want you to forget the Quran. What is the logic in that? Somebody saying the Bible also changed law according to time. No, this is not true. This is not a true. That's a false argument. Bible never changed the law. There's a law did not come yet, and then there's a law come, which means in the time of Noah, there is no law where it says, uh, or Adam, where it says you cannot marry your sister. It's not the law change. In your religion, in the morning, Muhammad, he make a law. After two hours, he, he changed the law. Because people they start laughing at him even the Arab they were saying look at him He says something in the morning. He's in and he changed it afternoon As an example look at this law And I want uh, Muhammad Khan the one who is texting to answer feel free to if you want to call me in, in pal talk Muhammad Khan let me know Look at this verse. Muhammad Khan, is this verse abrogated in the Quran? Who's a Muslim want to answer? Chapter 2, verse 178. Is this verse abrogated? Any Muslim want to give us an answer? Any Muslim have the courage to say yes, no? No, I think. Uh, okay, hold on. Guys, here we have an example of how Muslim, he believe in Allah. So the Quran is the book of guidance, but look what Muhammad Khan, he said to us. No, I think. So how that can be guidance? I think. What if your thinking is wrong? How this book is a book of guidance, and now you have to guess. And this is a very serious punishment because if we follow it and it's abrogated, that will be a crime against God. If your God forbid you from following this verse anymore and you're still following it, that's mean you are going to go to hell. Nice to meet you. Well, I have a bad news for you, Muhammad Khan. This verse is abrogated. You just said, No, I think. Did he say, guys, no? As he think? Well, you are wrong. This verse is abrogated. 
Muhammad he made this verse and people they start complaining left and right because this is stupid if I kill your wife you kill my wife since when this is eye for an eye Muhammad he could not understand the law of Moses which is an eye for an eye so he created his own based in his stupid understanding so in the case of murder free for the free if a free man kill a free man a free man will be killed but a free man will not be killed for killing a slave <laughs> women for the women have you ever heard of a justice like this Muhammad after he made this verse he had to abrogate it right Do we have any Muslim? Why for a wife is not mentioned? No, it's mentioned. It says women for the women, you idiot. Do you know what women for a woman mean? Which means if you kill my women, I kill your women. If you kill my slave, I kill your slave. If I am a free and you are a free, if I kill you, you have the right to kill me. The punishment is killing the free man. This is what it says. So, yes, it says wife for a wife. Women for a woman. Women from your group and women from my group, they will die. So now we have two innocent people dead. And the killer is a free. And you know what? If this verse is not wrong, why Allah abrogated? This is about a murder. Did the murder change? Correct, guys? If Allah is all wise, this is a law about murder. Murder, nothing changed. I mean, murder exists in the past, exists today, exists tomorrow. People, there's criminals, they do murder. Why Allah need to change this? Any Muslim have an answer? What? Why Allah change it? Why Muhammad he get this verse and then a week after he don't want it no more? What do you mean I'm lying? Okay, let us go and read the interpretation. Shall we? Guys, I'm lying. Shall we go and read the interpretation? Okay, okay, hold on. I'm lying, brother. I'm lying. I'm lying. Okay. We go and see the interpretation. Let us see who is lying. In a second, everybody will see. Are you ready, Abdul? Let us see who is lying. You are lying. You are lying. Read with me, guys. <laughs> oh, who you believe? This is Tafsir Al Jalalain. <laughs> this is Tafsir who Al Jalalain. Now, Muhammad Khan, I want you to say Al Jalalain is lying. Al Jalalain is lying. All right, now look at this. And by the way, if you change that inter uh, the, the interpretation, you will see a different story too. But look at this. In the attribute of one slain and the action involved, a free man is killed for a free man, not for a slave. Do you see it? So your God Allah saying, if a free man kill a slave, he will not be killed. Guys, does it say that? People, does it say that? Does it say that if a white free man, he killed a black slave, because their slaves are the black. So if you kill a black slave, you will not be killed because you are a free man. You are a white man. You will not be killed. Is that the justice of Allah? Are you there, Muhammad Khan?
So who is going to be killed? Muhammad, based on this, who is going to be killed? The free man, he killed the slave man. Who is going to be killed? It says a slave for a slave. And female for the female. And later Muhammad, he changed it because people just start saying to him, this is stupid. Do you see it? Hey, my friend here, uh, my favorite word is donkey. If you don't like it, please don't listen to me. Actually, I should not use the word donkey because donkeys are smart. It's an insult to donkeys to call somebody donkey when he is more stupid than a donkey. This is how I talk. You don't like it, you don't have to listen to me. You tell me who is the donkey here. I mean, if I should not use the word donkey. Look, I say to them, I show them in the screen, still they call me liar. So why are you upset from using the word donkey? And by the way, the first so aside uh, in, in the history of Islam was a donkey, and his name is Yafur. When the Prophet, may Allah bless him, die, the donkey, he jumped in the well and he killed himself. He's in love. So any Muslim want to answer us? Where is the ones who keep saying to me, liar, liar? So this is, this is you know, this is very stupid book. This is going to be from God. I mean, what kind of God? He says stupid things like this. And then what? He come with an excuse, say, oh, I'm going to make you forget. I'm going to make you forget it. I will abrogate it. But the murder is still a murder. What is the reason to abrogate this verse? What was the reason to abrogate this verse? I want any Muslim to tell me. Were you ever afraid to live in the Middle East? I never been afraid wherever I live. Not me. No problem, no problem, Mr. Squad. But I'm just telling you how I talk. This is how I talk, what I can do. This is me. You want me to be something else? I'm. This is me. I say things as I, I believe. I don't put makeup. Do you want me to be politically correct? I cannot. Any Muhammadan, you have something to say? Actually, uh, once uh, once I, I forced myself to be nicer, and then I could not find my keys, because it looked like I became a different person, and even my pocket is not my pocket no more. And my wallet is not there. I could not recognize myself. Alhamdulillah, true story. So look at this God. He make a stupid law, and when people they start complaining, he abrogate his law because Allah is very flexible. I thought this is in the Allah is making justice. Look, this is the law of equality. Do you see it? The verse saying after this is the law of equality. So did the equality change? Change happen in every law? No, this is not a true. Show me where the law change when in the in the case of a murder we are even we are talking about murder not even about marriage murder is a murder where is the justice so Allah justice was wrong obviously he was wrong and Muhammad got busted This is the law of equality. The law of equality, if I kill a female, you kill my female. <laughs> and if I kill your male a slave, you kill my slave. It was nice to meet you. So now we have two victims. Right? 
is the Quran was sent down by by uh, by Allah and given to Muhammad why Muhammad is changing what Allah sent my friend there's nothing it's called sent down what sent down there's no Allah to send down anyway <laughs> don't you can't you tell that this is an idiot he's trying to make himself a prophet he come and fabricate laws he's trying to copy Moses the eye for an eye but because he don't understand what what what, what the law of Moses is he come with his own stupidity after he made the law people they start complaining he is this guy is like a liberal government you know they say something in the morning and the afternoon people they complain about what they said and they withdraw like Bernie Sanders yesterday he says Israel is a racist government afternoon he says I support Israel very much because now he noticed that he's making a big mistake hypocrites they are hypocrites they're their decision, their mind, their uh, 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 their talk change. Any Muhammadan have something to say? Now we go back here to something to to know to to speak about this uh, stupid thing here, because. <clears throat> Uh, why you reject the sign of Allah but yet he don't give us he don't give us the sign yet <laughs> why you reject the sign of Allah here we notice uh, something additional stupid we mentioned it many times before but let us repeat it again Allah not only he calls you to forget the Quran Allah will cause the you to forget the Quran but he will give you something better or similar how stupid that is Imagine you have a, a you have a child. He have a toy. Huh? He's playing with a toy. You take the toy from his hand and you crush it with your feet, and then the child he start crying. Hey, you know, he says, "Don't worry, I'm going to give you something similar or even better." So why you crush the first one? If it's going to be something similar, you idiot. Why you destroy the first one? Any Muhammadan? If it's going to be similar, so why you destroy it? So you have a car, okay? Let us say uh, you have, uh, you know, uh, you have a Mercedes Benz 500, brother. Allah take your Mercedes Benz 500 and he destroy it, and he give you 500 Mercedes Benz. Who is the stupid here? What is the excuse? The excuse is very simple. Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same chapter uh, twice. He cannot remember them. So he's saying to them, okay, I forget them. Hello, don't worry. Allah will give me something similar or better. Allah will make Quran better than the Quran. Allah will make Quran better than the Quran. Why? He went to school and his language now is better? How Quran can be better than the Quran? A Muslim, he want to call me. His name is Good Day. Okay. Let us hope he is not a kid. A good day. <clears throat> we will open Pal Talk. To give this Mohammedan a chance to call us. All right. Uh, good day. I'm going to send you an uh, an ad. Uh, please add me from your side. I'm looking for your name right now. Man, there's like a 1,000 good day. Which one is you? <laughs> Which one of those is is you? <laughs> what is that? what is that? None of them fit with your name, actually. What good day? Um, 
I don't see you. I mean, you need to. Uh, you send me, send me an ad from your side, because I can't find you. Hmm. Which one of those is you? There's like a thousand. Which one? None of them fit with your name, really. You see the name you gave me? None of them fit with your name. So you are giving me the wrong name. Yeah, I just told you, you cannot find it. I just searched, I showed you. You send me a text message from your side. Add me. Good day, everyone. Good day, everyone. Is yours? Okay, hold on. Good day, everyone. Uh, let's see if this is yours. Here we go. We send the uh, we send for this name a hi. All right, you can call me if you want. <coughs> Did you receive my hi? Hello? Hello? Hello, yes. All right, you hear me? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me well? Yeah, I do. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Okay, um, let me emphasize on two parts. All right. uh, yesterday, I, I messaged you under the nickname of Iskander. All right. I am an ex-Muslim. Right. And uh, you thought that I was playing, but actually I have one question to you, and I I hope that you can answer me. Right. And the second thing that uh, I don't smoke. <laughs> okay. No, so uh, my question is uh, regarding perfection. Per perfection. Uh, yesterday. What what perfection? Yeah. Yesterday. I'll I'll explain. Okay. Yesterday I told you why God. That create Lucifer as perfection, as a perfect being, and God created uh, Lucifer as a perfect being. While He knew that this perfection. What, what, do, you, what do you mean by what do you mean? What do you mean perfect being? Um, it's 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 stated in the Bible that uh, Lucifer uh, as the signet of perfection before before yeah, because, his falling. This is this is. God, no, no, this is this is about God. He created an angel. The angel. He did not create Lucifer. He created the angel. Yes. The angel who himself he chose to be the bad person. So God yeah, created things in perfection. Even Adam, even Adam, he was a created in perfection. But when he disobeyed God, the perfection is taken from his uh, 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 nature, which means he suffer. He die, he gets sick, etc. So God created okay. everything in perfection, but He have control of everything in the same time. So now uh, uh, Satan or uh, or this angel or the foreign angel, he decided to become Lucifer. But that will not change the yeah. fact that he is still the perfection here is not about you being because the only God is perfect. The way you are talking about it, I know. The, way, the, the 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 way you are trying to say because perfect is about we don't make mistakes. This is what perfect means. If you yeah. if you want to go in the, in the mean, you are trying to say to it. Okay. Okay, but um, in the Bible, it is stated that God didn't want sin for His creation. But from my point of view, I feel that perfection was um, the lead point of sin. No, you see, God, uh, you see, God, He don't want bad things to happen to you, but He don't intervene with your decision. 
if you go from the beginning you will see the story that God which is a simpler story God said to Adam don't do this and don't do that but still Adam he can do it right yeah okay so the perfection God he's given him perfection by helping him about taking decision but still he is a free mm -hmm. to accept the decision or to reject the decision yeah okay then, so when by he, when what he reject, I understand yeah by what I understand that perfection will be given so when someone is given the perfection it means that he will get the knowledge of bad things no no nobody things. nobody have the knowledge of God and perfection have nothing to do with knowledge of God the knowledge of Adam the knowledge of Angel still is very limited compared to God so he gave us what we need to function in the job which supposedly we're supposed to do so to survive to live though in the nature we are created for uh, as an example the bees uh, they have the nature uh, you know where it, it makes them able to survive but they cannot do more than what they, what, 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 what they like uh, the insect the bees the bees you know they knew mm -hmm. they, they knew they are designed to make honey you do not know how to okay. make honey but even though the bees are so small and maybe it means nothing uh, for you but still the bees can do something you cannot do yourself correct Yes, yes. Okay, and you can do things the bees cannot do. Mm -hmm, yeah. So the perfection of creation is about everything created is complete each other. So God created mm -hmm. us and he created the bees, he created the ants, he created the insect, he created the bacteria. Everything com is, a, is, a, is a cycle of complete, of perfection. But you, yourself, you are not perfect. Uh, okay. But but isn't it because of the perfect attributes of Lucifer he rebelled against God? It means that no, from no, his perfect the, attributes no, and perfection, the, no, the per he became arrogant. No, he is not. He is not perfect in the way you understand. I just explained to you. Uh, uh, as an example, you see, it's the Bible says that God created Adam in His image, which means He gave him the best image mm -hmm. can have, even His image. Jesus Himself, He come in the image of a man. This is the perfect image as God He created. But doesn't mean. You are perfect as God because still you can make sin and you can commit something wrong. So uh, 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 God gave you guidance to help you in the perfection. Mm -hmm. You are his creation and he gave you a manual. He says, okay, you are my creation. I want to help you. You are not not perfect and I don't want you to be, uh, uh, you are not me. You, I understand. You are not qualified to be me. Uh, I created you, but I'm going to help you. Don't do this and don't do that. And you will be good then you decide to do the opposite so you decide imperfection and you refuse the perfection of God perfection of God is to be with God but you rejected that so Lucifer he have a choice to be or not to be same as Adam there's no different you understand? So uh, Lucifer which is uh, Satan now is not perfect as he was before he was never perfect in the way you are trying to, to explain it to us you think he is perfect as God only God is perfect I just told you the perfection yeah, yeah. the perfection you are talking about he like you know uh, 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 like when God created me he created me a perfect human being nothing else the perfection is mm -hmm. about being a human being not about being God otherwise yeah. now we will have two gods one of them is Lucifer and the other one is uh, our God this is not what it says so they got give them the perfection to be angels to serve God mm -hmm. but he mm -hmm. he love his power he is you know he's powerful he have amazing power and now okay why I want to obey God you know I'm going to be a rebellion I'm going to be my own I will rule my own kingdom all right and God you know uh, 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 we as a Christians we believe in a free will we are created but not to be his slaves go and live mm -hmm. and do whatever you wish I told you yeah, what not okay. to do and you choose to do the opposite this is your business I am still at the end of the day God is in control Lucifer is Lucifer man is a man and then still God is going to judge all in the judge so so God he gave you let us say a space of time and a space of, of uh, a, a space of a space like you know land and uh, uh, to live in so he gave you the space and then you when your time is up you are going to be either rewarded or punished so here perfection but, is not what you think you are you are you are confused and you are reading translation you know perfection here that God he created the perfect angel nothing is missing okay God, God he created the perfect the, human the being question, yeah the question here okay I I'm with you that God didn't create um, 
Lucifer as perfect as he, but he created with the high standards, which is he's higher than the other creations. Didn't God know that um, from these high attributes, comparing to the other creation, he will deceive the other creation to do the wrong things? Yeah, you know, see here you have a you have the same problem, maybe because you have in the background of Islam. Do you remember the story in chapter eighteen where the prophet Al Khadr he killed a child because? He, when he grow, supposedly he will do. He will be rebellion to his parents. Yes, yes, you know yes. Story, okay. But this is not not not, not fair. That's mean God. He is going to punish you for his knowing before you before you're doing. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's not fair. I mean, okay. Well, I know he will do, but that still will not justify punishing for what he will do. But yet he did not do it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, because the nature yeah. of God is about justice, I'm not going to punish you because you did not do because you will do it later, and I have knowledge of something you yourself you don't have knowledge of. Oh, okay, I see. That will make God Himself a criminal for punishing you, yet you did not commit yeah. the crime. So God, He gave He He gave um space for His creation to He gave a space. He, he, he created you. And you see, we don't believe in it the same as Muslims. Uh, uh, like you know, God, he, he the only faith we have right now, we believe in faith in certain way, uh, very limited way, which means that God, uh, when he created Adam, he created him first to be in heaven to live forever, correct? But then, yes. when Adam broke the command of God, then the faith changed from living forever to live by nature, which means your, your body will get old, you will get sick, you get killed. Uh, you die by cancer you die by diseases so you, you are by yourself you are by your own so God he took the perfection of living forever from the human being uh, yeah okay as a penalty uh, not, not as a reward the God uh, okay anything Hello? else my friend yes anything else uh, the, the garden of Eden was in heaven or in earth no, the garden in, in Islam, the garden of Eden is in uh, in the sky, supposedly, which is funny. But in the Bible, it was in the ground. And based on geographic uh, understanding of names, it is close to Turkey now. But still, it was a perfect place because God it's a garden. himself... It's a, uh, it's a garden. You place. say God, God, he can make a place perfect. doesn't matter where. Like he can make heaven exist in the middle of the desert, you know? So... It's not the place is the problem. The pla the problem is what you did in that place. So that I, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, in terms of holiness, it means that only pure creature creatures can, can get inside this um, um, God because God was there. No, God is everywhere, my friend. God is not only there. <laughs> Does you see? Don't don't be. Uh, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to insult you, but don't be naive. You see. When when the Bible speak about uh, Adam and Eve's story, this is a very simple story to make you to make you understand that from the beginning, the reason we are not in heaven that human broke the command of God. Mm, but do okay. you really do you really think God he care really about eating an apple? Is that is that the, is, is that what the story is about? This not that yeah, is not yeah. the story. The story is about you broke his command. It's not about how big the command is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, imagine like uh, I have I have an apple in the in the table, and you are uh, someone I really care for, and then I say to you, don't eat the apple, and you eat the apple. That's not really a reason to be, but because you broke the command, it's not about the apple. You broke the command, and that intention of that breaking the command is to be equal to God. If you remember the story from the Bible, as long as you did read, it says that the, uh, Satan he told them that if you if you eat from it, you will have the knowledge of God. Correct. So not only they broke the command, their intention is to be the same as Lucifer. Mm, you know? I see. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you know when you read when you read a story, uh, you know don't don't be like a like a child who is trying to think it's a cartoon. The Bible is a very deep book, but there's things is written in a simple way, uh, in order for us yeah. to analyze the information. Otherwise. Uh, imagine if God want to write for us how he created the bees. He need maybe 10 books. You know? Oh, uh, yeah. The eyes alone is amazing. So, uh, uh, it, the, the, the Bible is not meant to explain what God he did exactly step by step. 
but it's to summarize what you should avoid so you can live and you can go back to heaven the book is not, is not meant to tell us really uh, the, the details of every single day happened in the past but it is about what you do so you can come back to me okay I see I all right uh yeah uh the fo uh, the term fallen fallen people or fallen creatures isn't apply is it applied to the people who believe in the biblical belief or just for the muslims you see uh, fallen you know we are fallen since adam fall that's it because uh, mm -hmm. we are out of heaven and we are born out of heaven so in order to go back to heaven we you know we have to get our way and the bible give us us the details how to get back so now you have a freedom of of, uh, of a choice. Either you want to go or you don't want to go. You know, if you accept it, you go. If you don't, so all of us we are the the Bible confirmed that me and you and everybody we are sinners. You know, okay. so every human, every human is a sinner, and he need he is short of of a grace, short of uh, of of holiness. And in order to get back to to where he used to be, he have to go back to be. The same as Adam was before he commits him. Uh, in terms of spirituality, because you say that Adam, Adam was created in the Garden of Eden, which is in Earth. So yes. I can't say that he was fallen from heaven. No, the 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 fall is not about falling from heaven or from where. The fall is uh, you fall into hell. You are falling out, ah. out of the mercy of God. You are out, but still you are not totally out. It's still he gives you a space, as we said, to come back. You know, so you are falling. You are falling from heaven. But doesn't the falling falling is not about high and low, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is not about first the floor, second yeah. floor. Who cares? This is about where are you now from God? Are you close to God or are you far from God? So if you are far from God, which means far from His mercy, you rejected His mercy, that make you fallen. It's not about how close to you, uh, you are by distance. Our God, we believe He's or he, he, right now as we speak, He's with us. So He is not in a in a in a place. And that will make us okay. In order to go, we have to go and take elevator to go there. That is will be that will be silly uh, thinking. The Muslim think this way, you know. Mm, I see. The Muslim see. think yeah. that there is seven heavens and there is ranks and etc. and floors etc. We don't believe in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my friend, as long you you said to me you are an ex-Muslim, what what make you leave Islam? What made me believe Islam? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but the main reason is that in Islamic belief, they believe that the Quran is a perfect book, which means it's, it's a huge claim, which means that if we found one mistake, it means the book is wrong. And I found a lot of wrong statements there. So it mm -hmm. means that the book is not how long, God. How long ago you left Islam? Well, before, before, before one month, I guess. Oh, is that is that uh, after watching my videos or nothing to do with my videos? It's before watching um, uh, David Wood, David Wood videos. He's the one who um, he, the first videos were from David Wood. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm I'm very happy for you. That's you. You know, you uh, you found your way. And uh, what about uh, what do you think about Christianity now? Well, I'm considering it, and. Uh, like I said, I gave you my question, and this is one of the questions that I uh, I looking for answers for it. For it, and yeah, I, I like the Christianity belief. It it it's really deep, hmm. and yeah. Don't you miss? Uh, so I'm don't, doing don't, don't, you, don't you miss the seventy version, seventy two version? Don't you want to get them back? Seventy version? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what. I, I invite you as long I take a, I, I take a chance that you call me and I invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior you know I actually I actually prayed for the Messiah yesterday so I can I can find my way all right and <laughs> if there's any news after you prayed I contacted you all right. So you pray to the Messiah, and maybe the Messiah he send send me in your way. Maybe it worked this way. And my friend, if yeah, you have maybe. any question about the Messiah, I will be happy to help you. But let me invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior, because you never know. You see, God he gave us a space, yeah. as we said, time and a space. But our time might be taken from us any moment, and there's no guarantee that you will have time for tomorrow. So for me, I take advantage of this time 
so I might be able to help you to accept the Messiah so I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as your Savior already you pray to the Messiah that's mean you believe in him because I will not pray to someone I believe he is a lie yes yes so what it's, it's a huge, a huge step for my life so so why don't say why yeah don't, why don't uh, accept him I mean you prayed to him already yeah yeah I, uh, okay Okay, I, I accept. I accept Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. I mean to I, that. I mean to that. We are Lord. so happy for you. And here we go. You know, he called me to question. And this this uh, this gentleman, we can call him brother in Christ. He just accept the Messiah and he accept him as Lord and Savior. So you accept the Messiah to be your only Savior and you are accepting him as your God. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. wonderful, my friend. Because, I'm happy. Yeah. For you. Uh, but, I have also one question. What do you think about J. Smith's claim that Muhammad did not exist? You see, we cannot verify uh, Muhammad as a person. We cannot. I cannot. Nobody can. Because even the Quran, sometimes call him Muhammad, sometimes call him Ahmad. Obviously, the name Ahmad and Muhammad, they are not names. Those are titles, mean the praised one. Right? If your name is Muhammad, yeah. you should not appear in different place as Ahmad. It's like Jesus, yeah. the Messiah. He have many names, but they are titles. Emmanuel, uh, uh, you know, uh, Christ. Those are titles. Those are not really names. His name yeah. is yeah. Yeshua. So the name should not change if it's a name. But obviously, yeah. Muhammad as a person, we do not know who is he. Based on yes. Muslim books, which is written long after Muhammad, we can go and say, okay, they, they are they are saying that there's a person who was living in the, in Mecca, etc. But even Mecca, we cannot find any proof of existence, you, you know, during the time of Muhammad. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, you know, uh, J. Smith, uh, by the way, he is not making the claim. He is he is uh, taking a study of a historian who did his own search in the beginning. Actually, I saw this historian. I saw J. Uh, Smith uh, presentation. In the beginning, I refused what he said uh, because he was saying about that the direction of the mosque. But uh, yeah. some, some of those mosques, I look at them, they are not really, they are not built to be a mosque. They were facing the wrong direction, not the Qibla, because in the beginning, they were not built as a mosque. So based on that alone, I, I, I will not accept. But then I watched the movie of the historian who made this study, and it's very convincing. So... Uh, yeah, there is no Mecca and there is no etc. But for me, I don't waste my time with this because I debate Muslims about their belief, not about what they don't believe. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. The Muslim don't uh -huh. believe that Muhammad is not exist. So why want to debate about it? You know? So sure. I, I I break the belief, not the non-belief. You know, they don't believe in that. So who, I, why I want to waste my time? I will leave that for somebody. Um, he, you know, he, he take care. I, I have a question for you. What about your family now? You, you today, you accept? I'm Christ? living. I'm, yeah, I'm living with them right now, and I don't know how to tell them that. Are you, especially, are you single, I'm if you, not. If you don't mind, to I'm not that. taking up. Are you single? Uh, I'm still a single. I'm. Oh. I mean, I, I, I'm a 19 years old kid. All right. So well, I don't you, know how you, to you are a man. You know, uh, 19 years old. Uh, uh, you know, you are in your own and you can make decisions and don't worry about anyone. Do what is right and uh -huh. don't be a fool. You know, if my parents, with my respect to your parents, they they believe in such a foolishness, does that not an excuse to, for me to follow the same foolishness? You know, there's people yep. who don't, they don't have the courage even to say, this is foolish. That's the whole story, you know, because it needs a lot of courage too. Yeah, they are delusions. Yeah. Well, my friend, encourage your family to watch my videos and I will be happy to help them if they have any questions. And if you want them to speak to me in private, I will be happy to talk to them. Just text me, let me know. And if you have your parents want to talk to me in private, like in, not in public, I will be happy to like have a conference, me and you and them together. Sure, sure. All right. Sure. Thank, I, you. thank you. For you're thank welcome. You. Anytime, you, you know, you, you feel free to contact me. Thanks. Thanks All a lot. Friend. Take care. God bless all right well um, and we are happy we are happy for this uh, gentleman uh, you know he left Islam and today he accepted the Messiah as his Savior that's wonderful and I, I hope we I pray that his family they will they will join him and uh, we will have a conversation together 
and we can make it private as I said um, because some people don't like to speak in, like in public and their voice will be recorded etc like now in YouTube so and I always do that I mean this is nothing new for me so we are happy for this brother to accept the Messiah and you know always when you read the Bible don't don't the Bible is not the same as the Quran Quran is just like it doesn't make sense I mean look at this the, the, the things is not connected the verse before have nothing to do with the verse after and there is no meaning I mean even the Quran does not make any sense you see the one who made the Quran he concentrated in making Arab music Arab Arab and that one of the reasons made this book stupid so now because now I have to squeeze the words and the letters to make it fit at the end I will give you an example I don't know how many of you remember once I have a guy his name Al Harith something like this and he claimed to be a sheik I asked him about this hadith, this verse in the Quran If you go in this chapter, the chapter of Al Qadr, Qadr means destiny. We were talking with uh, with this brother about destiny. Those who speak Arabic, they will notice that Muhammad, when he fabricated his Quran, he is just making Arabic music. Now you do not know Arabic, but I will help you. You notice those letters at the end, they are always the same. Do you notice? R, 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 R. Do you see it? The first one here is not part of the Quran. This is fabrication from the Muslims. So do you see the letter? So Muhammad, he need to, to, to continue his statement and they have to end with the letter R. And this is funny that God he want to do that. I mean, what the point? This is gonna happen in Arabic if you are trying to make a poetry. And by the way, Quran is not a poetry because it is very down low in the in the in the as a fabric of of, of language. It's stupid. It's it's, it's 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 you know we call it in Arabic saja, but this is even the bad saja. So look what he said. Inna anzalnahu fi al qadr, wa ma adraka ma al qadr. ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن من ربك من ربها من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر so he have to end with the far r r r r r and look at the translation and that make the Quran stupid book we have indeed revealed the message in the night of power the Muslim translate the ليلة القدر the night of power and we and what we will explain to you about the night of power is okay what it is nothing I mean he just said to you and do you know what is the night of Al-Qadr okay what it is the night of Al power is better than a thousand months but you I thought you are going to tell me what it is and how stupid to say that this night is better than a thousand months anyone knows how many years a thousand month is How many years? Thousand month. Somebody give me a number. Hmm? Any Muslim? The Muslims believe if you pray in this night as if you prayed for 83 years. When I asked the Sheikh about this, he said this is an exaggeration in the language, which means Muhammad is a liar. So I, I said to him, are you saying this is exaggeration? He said, yes, uh, because the prophet, uh, you know, God, he made him a verse uh, to match point. So uh, he don't mean it. This is his opinion. Other scholars, they don't agree. They say, no, this is what it's meant. It is equal to 1,000 months. But this is not fair. So I do not need to pray for 83 years. I pray only in that night and I died in the second day. 
and that's it I am better than somebody he was praying for 83 years and guess what Muslim do not know where this night is <laughs> You know what I mean? Muhammadan do not know when this night happened. So how you how this night and there is a story in the hadith. Muhammad he run to tell his companion because people they keep asking him, okay, you told us that uh, the night of power is better than a 1000 night, but when when was the night? So one day uh, Muhammad, he supposedly remembered the night of power. Let me find you the hadith. <sighs> Just to show you how how we we get Muhammad busted. <laughs> oh boy I will give you a reason it's hard to believe and that will tell you really if you are a person if you are a Muslim listening to this you will agree with me that Muhammad is nothing but a liar all right if we go in the hadith and we look for this following hadith I hope we can find it I think we will find it here we go Muhammad he was at home and Allah showed him sure through Jibreel when the night of Al-Qadr will be Laylatul Qadr Laylat in Arabic. I mean, the, the Muslim translation, by the way, is very weird and very silly. I mean, either translate the whole thing or don't translate. How somebody will know what Laylat mean now? And how somebody will know what Al Qadr mean? I mean, this is stupid translation. Yeah, it's okay. So, I was shown Laylat Al Qadr. Then some members of my family woke me up. Then I was caused to forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Any Muslim is there? So Allah he showed him Laylat al Qadr and somebody wake him up and he forgot it? So why Allah show it to him? Huh? Muhammadan? Hello? He's a liar. And then he said, So seek it in the last week. He don't know which day. Eh, maybe. In different hadith, he says in the middle of the month. In the other hadith, he says in the last 10 days. In the other hadith, he says in the last three days. Muhammad is nothing but a big fat liar. Who is the one who showed Muhammad when the date of the night of power? Allah. So what do you mean somebody woke you up and you forgot it? Allah could not keep it in your mind? Why Allah show it to you? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? I was showed I was showing Laylat al Qadr. Muhammad, who showed you that? Who showed you that? Allah? Obviously, it must be Allah, right? So, what do you mean somebody woke you up? Allah, He could not keep you remembering it? So, why Allah showing it to you? And they cannot say this is a weak hadith, this is Sahih Muslim. But anyway, anything you give them, they will say to you, it is wrong, wrong and we will reject and etc. You know? Imagine, may the Lord forgive me for comparing. Imagine Jesus says that. 
<laughs> I mean, you Muslim, don't you notice that there is something stupid here? What is this? Who is the one who showed him when the date of the night of power? You will say Allah. Okay. Allah show it to him. Why? Don't Allah know that he will forget it in after a second after he wake up? So why he show it to him? And why he still remember that it was shown but he forgot the date? He just woke up. I mean, how he forgot it but he remember it? You know what I mean, guys? When you say I was shown, that's mean you remember what you've been shown. So how you remember what you saw, but you didn't remember what you saw? If we ask the Muslims, they say, who, who is a Muslim in the chat? Do we still have uh, any uh, Muhammadan in the chat? Do Muhammad forget Quran too, or only forget those things? Any Muslim want to help us? Do Muhammad forget Quran? Or he only forget this thing? Any Muslim want to say something? How are you, Muhammad Khan? Are you there? I don't see you. Muhammad Khan is contributing for Islam. <clears throat> Did Muhammad forget Quran? Any Muslim want to help me? Muhammad Khan, are you there? Did Muhammad forget Quran? Okay, Muhammad Khan. He forgot Quran. Okay, why he forgot Quran? Guys, Muhammad Khan, he said, Muhammad, he forgot the Quran. Nope. I No, repeat again. I, I Give me one sentence to be sure what is your answer. Did Muhammad forget Quran? Either you say, he yes, he forget Quran, or you say, he did no, he did not forget the Quran. So we will not be confused by your answer. Waiting for your answer, Muhammad Khan, and any Muslim. Did Muhammad forget Quran? Give me a full answer. You type, no, Muhammad did not forget Quran. So we will know what you are saying, no, about what? Maybe you are answering somebody else in the text. Who is a Muslim when I give me a full answer? No, it's Allah will. Okay, he's right. He's right. It's Allah will that Muhammad will not forget the Quran. Guys, did you see? Muhammad Khan, he just confirmed to us that it is Allah will that Muhammad will not forget the Quran. This is his answer. Read with me. No, and he have a big no for you. Not small no. I mean, this is a big, big no. You can take it and make a print of it and put it in the wall next to the picture of the Kaaba. No. Why? Because it is Allah will. So what is Allah will? Allah will is that Muhammad will not forget the Quran. Do you agree? Muhammad Khan? That Allah will that Muhammad will not forget the Quran? Chapter 21, verse number 5. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is not the verse we want. Chapter 78, sorry. Verse number 6. We will give you Quran, and you will not forget. Do you see the verse? Guys, do you see the verse? We will give you Quran and you will not forget. Do you agree, Muslim, with this verse? So if Muhammad forget Quran, 
That's mean Muhammad, he proved to us that he is a false prophet. Let us see if Muhammad forgot the Quran. Shall we? Let us try to find the hadith. Here we go. Do you see it, Muslims? Muslim, do you see it? Does it say that your prophet, he forgot the Quran? But the Quran said, as Nu'man Khan, he said, no, because he will not forget, because it is Allah will. So how Allah, he said to him, you will never forget the Quran, yet the Hadith says that Muhammad, he forgot the Quran. Are you there, Muhammad Khan? Are you ready to leave Islam, Muhammad Khan? Muhammad, don't hesitate, my friend. This is your opportunity to leave this cult. It's obvious. It's in front of you. It is you who said to me, no, he did not forget the Quran because it's Allah will. And we showed you the verse and we said, we agree with you. The Quran says, Allah said, Muhammad will never forget the Quran. Muhammad said he forgot the Quran. So what do you say? No, I don't want to leave Islam. I want you to, 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 leave, to leave lies. This is a lie. You want to stay as a Muslim, believe in lies? It's up to you. For me, I reject lies. Obviously, this guy is a liar. In the Quran, he says, Allah, and you are the one who agreed. Allah, he assured him, he made the decision that he will not forget Quran. Here he's saying, I forgot Quran. So what we will do now? You want to stay as a Muslim? Oh, so just because you had a family, you will not leave Islam. That's not an excuse. So let us make it clear, Muhammad Khan. You agreed now that Muhammad is a liar, but because you have a family, you will not leave Islam. Correct, guys? That's what he's saying to us. Look, look what Muhammad is saying. I had a family and dots after that, which means understand my situation. But that's mean you agreed that Muhammad is a false prophet. But you had a family, which mean, you know, that will cause me trouble. So I'm not going, you know, understand my situation. I understand your situation. But for me, by what you said, I know now that you left Islam. Correct, guys? By saying I had a family, you just agreed that you are leaving Islam. Good for you. And I pray that soon you will accept the Messiah as your savior. That's wonderful. You enter the chat with us as a Muslim. And after two hours, you are out of Islam. Who's next? Muhammad obviously is lying. Look at this, uh, Muhammad, and he's saying the contact explain itself. You know, Muslim proper, why you don't call me and let us see how you can explain it yourself as long as the contact can explain itself. I want to see you, how you can make it explained. I mean, how funny when you say that. If the Quran itself in chapter 3 says that nobody understands the Quran save Allah, and now you are saying the contact explain itself. You will not forget unless I make you forget. It doesn't say that. Guys, where it says, where in, where in the verse it says, you will not forget unless I make you forget. Guys, where it says that? Anybody can see me, show me where it says that Allah will make you say, will make you forget.
he will say to you the verse after says except as Allah wills right but the Allah wills in the other verse it says Allah will make all the Muslims forget this is called abrogation the abrogation of forgetting by forgetting but here we have a Muslim remembering the Quran so Allah did not make all the Muslims forget only Muhammad he forgot <laughs> guys you remember the verse let us, let us go back together let us go back together so we can love <clears throat> None of our revelation we cause to be forgotten. Allah will cause to be forgotten to who? Only to Muhammad? Or to all the Muslims? All the Muslims. You can go and read all the interpretation. Because if one if only Muhammad he forgot it, then it's not abrogated, it's there. The Muslims still remember it and they practice it. So here he's talking about he will cause all the Muslims forget it. Okay. But as we see here, the one who forgot is only Muhammad. What do you say? Do you want me to show you the interpretation for this verse? That this is for all the Muslims? Not for Muhammad? All the Muslims will forget. The abrogation will happen to all the Muslims, not only to Muhammad. Unless you are saying to me, Allah abrogated verses only for Muhammad. That will be funny, isn't it? Hmm? Did Allah cause all the Muslims to forget in this verse and abrogated the Quran for all the Muslims or only for Muhammad? Are you there, uh, people Muslim? Was this abrogation only for Muhammad or for all the Muslims? This is for all the Muslims. But here, Muhammad, he got busted. In fact, it is Muhammad who kept forgetting the Quran. And Muhammad, in order to cover his ass, he come with this verse, fabricating it, says, well, Allah has caused me to forget the Quran. Right? Do we have any Muslim have any comment? Uh, uh, Fahim is saying, don't forget, we Muslim don't forget what Allah brought down to us. Okay, Fahim, I want you to recite for me the verses of breastfeeding for adult 10 times. Guys, Fahim, he said to me, let us see how, Fah how Fahim is Fahim. Fahim in Arabic mean, uh, uh, we have, we have, uh, we have another uh, uh, gentleman who left Islam too. His name, Abdullah Hussein. He said, I am also an ex-Muslim. I left Islam a while ago, and now I am studying the Christian faith. And we are happy for you, my friend. Now we go back to Fahim. Fahim, he said, let us see where Fahim, what he said. He said, we Muslims, we don't forget. Let me see where he said that. Hold on. Uh, Fahim, Fahim. I mean, he called even, I mean, his name is funny because Fahim mean a wise man. I, I cannot find his text. It's, it's run. There's hundreds of texts. <clears throat> anyway, he said, we Muslims, we don't forget what Allah sent down. But the Quran says, no, you forgot. Don't you see? Allah caused you to forget the Quran, Fahim. Are you saying Allah is a liar? Fahim, he said, we Muslim, we don't forget what Allah he sent down to us. The Quran says, you are lying. Muhammad Khan is an ex-Muslim too. Wonderful. <laughs> Muhammad Khan, he decided to leave Islam. Okay. Look like today we have a we have a wave of people leaving Islam. That's wonderful. 
All right. <clears throat> Who is next? I am an ex-Muslim too. Okay, that's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, Islam is very convincing. I mean, this is the most foolish, stupid religion ever you can imagine. And the only miracle I see in this cult that you see somebody still he believe in it, or so many idiots they convert to Islam in the West. Do we have any Muslim would like to? I don't know. Are we out of Muslim today? All of them they left Islam. Fahim is next. Fahim is next. But Fahim is slow. The food he's eating is not helping. Any Abdul? This verse alone is enough to prove Muhammad is a is a fake prophet. Allah causing him to forget Quran. <laughs> I mean, how silly is that? The Muslim he keeps spending the day Bismillah You know, and then Allah for, make you forget the Quran. As simple as that. Why? Who's a Muslim want to tell me why Allah He caused you to forget the Quran? What is the wisdom behind that? Did he find something wrong in it? He don't want you to remember what happened yesterday. What happened in Vegas? Stay in Vegas. Uh, CP, use your brain. The verse is saying that the verses will not be lost unless Allah will it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Where it says I will not be lost unless Allah will it. Guys, what is that? And why? This is the question. I will go with you. Just, just to show you, just to show you how how smart the Abdul are. Okay. I will analyze the statement of this man, this Muslim. Solomon, uh, a player six six six. He's an antichrist. All right. Wonderful. Use your brain. The verse is saying that verses will not be lost. Unless Allah wills it question. I'm going with you just for the sake of love Why Allah want you to forget the verses? That is the most stupid statement ever Allah he gave you a verse yet. He wanted to forget the verse <laughs> And then the verse is not saying that Allah will give all the Muslims magical memory Muslims had to learn and remember now hold on hold on so how you say you Muslims you say to us that we Muslims we preserve the Quran in our chest you just to prove to me that you Muslims you lie to us because now you are taking the opposite defense you are saying to me no 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 we Muslims we forget Allah did not give us an, an extreme memory we did for guys is, is, is what he's saying he is trying to convince us that we Muslims we forget Quran. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but this is totally the opposite of what you say. If we change the topic, if we say to you, "Was the Quran preserved?" You say, "Yes, it's memorize it, brother. We memorize, memorize it." Allah never wrote the Quran. How you get the Quran? You say we memorize it, but now you are saying to me, "Well, we Muslims we forget the Quran," and this is what we are saying. You are saying to me that Allah did not give us perfect memory, but this is not the reason. Allah said in the Quran, I will cause you to forget the Quran, which means it doesn't matter you have a perfect memory or not. I will cause you. He will not cause you to forget all the Quran. He will cause you to forget the Quran he don't want. How you can answer that? Why Allah want you to forget the Quran? It's not you forgetting the Quran. It's Allah causing you to forget the Quran. Guys, does it say or cause to be forgotten? Does it say that? So we as a human, we forget. That's normal. That's true. 
but here is this is not about normal things happen to people this is about somebody his name is Allah he will cause you to forget the Quran the question why Why Allah want me to forget what he told me? So Allah, he come to me and he says, My name is Dakinay, and I'm going to teach you Thit Kebab. And today we are going to give you the recipe of how to make hummus. And then Allah, his name is Zakarnay, he make me forget what he said to me five minutes ago. Why? What is the wisdom behind that? Hmm? If the wisdom is abrogation, there's many verses in the Quran abrogated and they are not forgotten. Why there's verses he wanted to forget and what are they? And now how we know what is forgotten and what is not? How we know what is abrogated and what is not? Does the Quran give, have a list of what is abrogated? No. Uh, <clears throat> Guys, guys, look at this. Look at this. I'm uh, uh, sorry. I'm, I'm sharing your text just for fun. You are an idiot. Read my reply. No, Allah is talking about verses being lost. Verses being lost. You use your brain. Okay, what is the verses being lost? I mean, who is the stupid here, guys? This guy keeps saying to us, verses being lost. You just said, guy. Did he say verses being lost? Did he just say verse being lost? That's mean the Quran is not preserved. <laughs> this is your words. This is have nothing to do with people. Is it the Quran given to the people? Who is the one who lost them? Allah. <laughs> who is the one who lost the verses? As long as you are saying to me, this is, has nothing to do with the people. Are you saying that the one who lost the verses is Allah? <laughs> Uh, let us give a call to Allah and ask him if he found the verses maybe after 1400 years he did some cleaning in the house and maybe he found them under the cushion or you know in the, in the couch or under his uh, you know uh, underwear what's wrong with you so now you try to fix it you make it a blind so you just agreed that Allah he lost verses so now we started speaking about people losing verses now you are saying Allah is the one who lost the verses uh, look, this is a smarter Muslim. This is a smarter Muslim. Today is the day of comedy. Look at this guy. Muslim uh, Piopar said, Yes, Allah, make the Zeus and the Christians and people forget revelation. What? That's mean he is the devil. Guys, look at this idiot. Allah, he made the Christians and the Jews forget revelation. The verse in the front of us speaking to Muslims, you idiot. Not to the Jews. Secondly, if this is a true, how you explain to me this verse? And everybody will be laughing at you in a second. <laughs> uh, the Quran says, Oh Christians and Jews if you don't practice the Torah and the gospel you have nothing to stand on so how Allah he calls us to forget revelation and then he accuses us of corrupting revelation according to you you see the Muslims the Muslims because they are they are desperate they try to find an answer hmm. chapter 5 verse number 68 I will compare it with your text and everybody will be laughing at you in a second. You just get your prophet busted. Allah asking the Christians and the Jews, saying to them, O oh, people of the book, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand fast by the law and the gospel. But you just told me in your funny text that Allah caused the Christians and the Jews to forget the Bible. The Bible. <laughs> So how they will stand on the Bible if they don't have a Bible? <laughs> Unbelievable. 
because of the rebellion so so guys the one who corrupt the Bible according to Islam now it's Allah did you get the new news who is the one who caused the Christians to forget revelation Allah read the verse Allah is the devil so because if somebody rebellion you corrupt your book <laughs> And in the same time, Allah is saying to the Christians and the Jews, you better follow the book, but he caused them to forget the book. Uh, a people are Muslim, why you don't call me, man? You can be the best comedy for today. I am thick? What? They forgot all of the scriptures. No, they forgot some of the revelation. Okay, look at this, is stupid. They forgot all, oh, not all, some of the scriptures. Hold on. But your God saying, you have to stand upon the Torah, all the Torah, and the gospel, all the gospel. So if they forgot some of it, how he's asking them to practice it? Abdul? And again, we go back to zero. What kind of a stupid God? He sent the book. He wants us to, 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 to forget it. I mean, this is stupid. Secondly, the verse we are seeing in front of us have nothing to do with the Christians and the Jews and you are a big fat liar And this is my challenge for you Show me one interpretation saying that this is about the Jews and about the Christians This is not about abrogation of the Quran Can you? Shall we? Hello? Hello. You see, I honestly, I feel so sorry for Allah. I mean, he could not get any high intelligent being to defend his cult. Look who is defending and look what they are saying. They try to defend him, but they expose him and they get him busted. And Allah now is suffering because of the stupidity of those answers. He claimed that those verses is about the Christians and the Jews. Hmm. Let us get him busted, shall we, guys? Sh guys, should we get him busted? G give me, give me. Okay, is it time to 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 hit him in the head, in a in, without violence? <laughs> shall we? Let us get you busted. All right. Everybody will see in a second. You are a big fat liar and you are just trying to cover up for your profit chapter 2 verse 106 Everybody will be laughing at you in a second This is for the Christians and the Jews, huh? Allah he made forget the Christians and the Jews some of the scriptures read with me you coward liar when the disbelievers began to degree to, uh, to to write the matter of abrogation saying one day Muhammad he enjoys some enjoying his companion with one thing in the second day he forbid it <laughs> Unbelievable in the morning he says something in the second morning he changed the law Do you see it Abdul? Abdul, do you see it? You did lie to us and you said this is about the Christians and the Jews. Hello? Who won the reference, guys? Who won the link? Who won the link for this garbage? Who want to save it? Show them how stupid, how liar he is. There is no way God will change his mind in 24 hours. He make a law in the second day in the morning he change it is it me who's saying that this is your this is the official government website of the kingdom of jordan and this is tafsir one of the highest scars of islam when the disbelievers they began which means they make fun of muhammad in the matter of abrogation what abrogation the guy he's saying something one day and the second day he says something else. 
One day he approved it, the second day he forbid it. Do you see it? Hello? Pupar Muslim, what happened to you? Are you are you in the in the in the uh, in the oil change shop now? Are you going to change your oil? Uh, Jalalain is interpretation, but however, they are telling you what is behind the story. <coughs> what happened to Muslim Abdul who lied to us, says this is for the Christians, Allah made them forget the Bible. And not only that. You liar, the Quran says in chapter 5, verse number 14, that Allah will punish us because we forgot, not because He caused us to forget. Let us get you busted, Abdul liar. This is it, chapter 5. Let us go there. Those Abdul, they forgot they are talking to Christian friends. Hmm. Don't forget that. Keep trying. Do you see? For those two who call themselves a Christians, we did take a covenant, but they forgot a good part of it. Not he caused us to forget. Liar. And this is why Allah wanna punish us, supposedly. You were talking about gay sex, okay? Where, okay, where, where is in the Quran the verse talking about gay sex? Uh, Abdul, I mean, how stupid you are! In the whole since I started my program until now, I did not mention the word gay. Correct, guys. So now to cover your ass, because obviously you are maybe one of those, you make it about gays. What gays? What what does have to do with our topic? And I will go with you. Show me in the Quran where Allah calls you to forget the verses about gays. I want to go with you, brother. Never. If we go in the Quran, we will find that your God, Allah, He made it clear that if there is somebody is a gay brother, you spank him with sandals. Is that true? Let us go to the Quran and let us go to the interpretation too. Hmm? All right. Allah make you forget the verses about the gays. Where? They are there. Obviously, you are stupid. You don't know what you are talking about. Be careful, be careful. You are talking to in the presence of Christian friends. Be careful, my friend. All your prophet stupidity is here. Huh? Okay. Let us laugh together. <clears throat> this verse is about the lesbian. The verse after it. This is chapter 4 verse number 15 and this is chapter 4 verse number 16 about the geese you said to us Allah he caused us to forget the verses about geese you are a liar they are there brother read with me the punishment of geese in Islam brother and if two of your men brother they commit loudness adultery homosexual intercourse punish them brother insult them beat them with sandals you beat a you beat a gay with sandal, he get horny. The punishment of gay in Islam is to beat him with sandals, and you just told us that Allah made you for the, for, to forget the verses. Where they are here. Hello, hello. Anyone know the story about uh, about the the punishment of the one who killed the Uthman? Who remember the story? Anyone remember? <laughs> there is a, after the death of Uthman, Uthman the Caliphate was killed. So one of the companion of Uthman and Muhammad, he said, "I swear by Allah, if I know who is the one who did kill Uthman, I am going to f him." Excuse my language. A gay was listening and he said, It's me, it's me. Then the companion of Allah Prophet, 
he made this man bend over and he started doing him. And then the guy underneath of the guy, he was screaming, the gay guy, he was saying, I swear by Allah, if killing Uthman will give me such a punishment, I would love to kill Uthman every day. And I challenge any Muslim to say to me, I'm lying. Hello? Mirza? Mirza. No, I don't have any caller. Hello? Do we have any? Any Mayday, Mayday. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> you know, one of the reasons the Muslims don't debate me is is me being me. Which mean I mean how they can debate such a person like me? They would be cornered. They would be you know, I mean it's 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 going to be a disaster. And this is why they will avoid getting even close to me. This is why Shabir Ali, although they want to debate uh, many known people without mentioning their names, but they will not get close to me. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Hey guys, don't forget please to subscribe to my other channel because soon we will start broadcasting there. I did not start, I was supposed to start today there, but I noticed still we are very low in the numbers of subscribers. So please, the admins, they are posting for you the link for YouTube. Don't forget, please, to subscribe. All right? Now, I think it's time to put for you some relaxing uh, view uh, <clears throat> in the screen uh, to forget about Allah and His Messenger. Very beautiful. I mean, who is better than Allah? I mean, we need, we need to, come on. Nobody can come with such a thing like Allah. Nobody, no one, trust me, no one. Uh, <clears throat> where, where, where? Yeah, the admins, they are posting for the link and I, I wanna say thank you for all the admins here, they are helping, you know, to, to, to share links and etc. So do we have any Muslim would like to say anything? Okay, let us change the topic. Guys, let us change the topic. Let's give an opportunity for the Muslims uh, to give us, an, uh, like give them opportunity to, to prove to us Islam to be uh, from God. You know what I mean? Who is a Muslim is willing to give us one thing at a time to prove to us that Islam is from God or Quran or anything? Anyone? Forget about everything we said, everything, the crazy stuff we mentioned. Abu Khair, I am out of this rubbish. Hey, Abu Khair, does that mean you are out of Islam? My friend? We have Mr. Abu Khair. I guess uh, he is a Muslim. He is saying he is out of this rubbish. I don't know if you can see his text. Are you out of Islam, my friend? <clears throat> All right, good for you. Happy for you. Today we have many people left Islam. That's wonderful. 
So who is a Muslim want to show us one good thing about Islam or something can prove Islam to be from God? He called the chat. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he don't mean that. I don't know. Who is a Muslim want to show us one good thing proving to us that Islam is from God? Who can do that? You see, he forget about everything. I'm giving you opportunity now to prove to us yourself. See, even the bus here is going crazy. Any Muslim? What about we talk where Allah He put the sun sitting in the murky water, <laughs> which is going to prove to us as long the Muslim they don't want, which is going to prove to us that Allah is God. Allah is the only God who knows where the sun set. He discovered that long before anyone. He discovered that the sun set in the murky water. And by the way, I am an Arab, and I say to you, I saw that with my own eyes. In the Middle East, brother, the sun always set in murky water. Is that true, Muslims? Does your Quran say is the sun set in the murky water? Hello? And by the way, if you look at the video on the screen, you will notice that the sun is getting close, by the way. I mean, obviously, the sun is almost there in the murky water. This is a video, by the way, I took myself. With the slow motion. Do you like the slow motion, guys? The slow motion is nice. Beautiful. And Islam is very, very slow. You can prove it. Prove what? Solomon, what you can prove? Guys, hold on. Solomon, he said he can prove it. You can prove what, Solomon? Solomon, you can prove to us that the sun set in the murky water? Hello? <clears throat> yeah, which sun? Because the Quran says there is two suns. There is two east and there is two west. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a God? He knew this, that there is two suns. There's uh, two east and two west. Hmm. So who is the Muslim want to say something good for us about Islam? We'll make them forget? Where it says we'll make them forget? Hey guys, either this guy is a stupid or he is a stupid. Where the verse says, what? It says, will make them forget. He will make them forget. Okay. Okay. Allah will make them forget. Who will make them who? We go back to zero. Hold on. We go back to zero. Abdul, Solomon. Allah will make them forget who? You are the one who said this is for the Christians. Are you? Allah will make who forget the Quran. Let us go back to zero, Abdul. And why? <clears throat> why Allah want to send Quran and he make you forget the Quran? The reference proving you to be a liar. It says this has happened to Muhammad. Correct, guys. We showed you the interpretation. This guy is a certified liar. Here we everything we say, we prove it. Everything we say, we prove it. Muhammad he lie, he fabricate his lie. And he changed his mind second day and people start making fun of him because something he say in the morning and afternoon he have different law who is saying that 
you're a scholar is not me so this is not about really forgetting correct guys there's no way he forgot it yesterday what they are talking about here is about he is a he is a false prophet they get him busted how you are a prophet god gave you an order in the morning and then second day you come with the new law the opposite from the first one so this is not about really forgetting as much as he is he's a stupid your god he gave you a law yesterday and then the second day you may you give a new law the op the oppose the first law why it doesn't say after a century it says the second day do you see it guys guys the, 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 does it say that or i'm making things up read with me when the disbelievers began to uh, to, to dry the matter of abrogation saying that one day muhammad is enjoins his companions to one thing and then the next day he forbid it <laughs> So in the morning he says do muta. In the afternoon he said don't do muta. In the morning he said don't marry Christian women. In the afternoon he said marry Christian women. <laughs> Allah forbid you, brother. Allah forbid you from doing muta, brother. But yesterday in the morning, brother, Allah allow us to do muta. <laughs> But I understand. I am if if I am in your uh, panties, and thank God I don't need them. Uh, I will be suffering like this. But so enjoy your panties. Stay with them. Hmm? Stay with them. Uh. Uh. Okay. What? 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 Look at this guy, guys. Look at this. Look at this. ZB. ZB. Look. Uh, you like to hide under the skirt of a scholars. Look at those idiots. He just admitted that this guy is a scholar. You learn Islam from who, you idiot? Don't you learn Islam from the scholars, Muslim scholars? So you agree that the Muslim scholars. I cannot prove that from the Quran authentic hadith. So what I was showing you all those three hours, I was showing you authentic Quran and authentic hadith. Isn't it the hadith says that the prophet he forgot Quran? Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. You are hiding under the skirts. No, I'm hiding under the skirt of Muhammad. By the way, do you know that your prophet, he used to wear the skirt of Aisha too? Yes, and now I'm hiding under his skirt, Aisha skirt. I don't want to tell you what I can see, brother. You don't want to know. Is that a hadith? Is it authentic hadith or not? Is this hadith authentic or not? Muhammad forgetting Quran. Hello. Hello. We have only six hundred seventy-five likes, but we have more than a thousand people watching. Man, people don't like me. I'm going to change my name to Muhammad, and then they will like me a lot. And then they will subscribe from the distance of one month journey because they are scared. Is that authentic hadith, Abdul, or it's not authentic hadith? Well, what happened to this guy? He's dead. He's searching Google. You have humiliated me. Why? Did you break my teeth? The same as what happened to your prophet? He hide between the legs of Aisha. How your prophet can read the Quran if you have no teeth? I mean, this guy, he lost his teeth from the beginning of the time he claimed to be a prophet. Imagine he was, Take your teeth off and let us see how you can recite the Quran. A prophet, his God, could not protect his teeth, but yet he had to recite the Quran. 
Hello? The sun set in my neighbor pool every day. I hope the sun you are talking about is not your neighbor wife because that will be the job of Muhammad to look at. <laughs> my neighbor, his wife, her name is Sunny. So the sun set every day in the pool. I see her every day, brother. Her name is Sunny. Any Abdul? Prove to you that Aisha. The, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Prove to us. Hold on. I mean, those Muslims are asking for it, aren't they? Hold on. ZB, prove to us that the Prophet wear Aisha skirt. A challenge. Okay. A challenge. So, what is what you will do if you lose the challenge? Are you willing to open your camera? And you do the monkey dance for us, and I will put a life on YouTube as long as you are saying challenge. What do you think, guys? Are you willing in the front of everybody if I show you that your prophet is doing that? Are you willing to dance in the camera? The monkey dance. Hello. Hello. Say yes. Did he say yes? <clears throat> Where are you? Did you say yes? Guys, did he say yes? That's very easy, actually. Say yes. Swear by Allah you would do that. I'm waiting for you. It will take me less than 30 seconds to show you your prophet wearing his wife's skirt. Hello? Look like you are not sure. <laughs> okay, let's have a deal. What about you call me live in Pal Talk? And I will make you read the hadith for us. Only I don't want you to do anything. Don't do monkey, nothing. You read the hadith for us. Is that fair, guys? Is that fair? You read it. Whatever is in the screen, you read it. Who dare to do so? I mean, what kind of a challenge those people they don't dare to, to keep their challenges I'm here I'm giving you opportunity to call me life and you know explain yourself they don't dare anyway guys we don't want to we don't want to be out of Muslims in one day I mean we have to we have to leave something for tomorrow I don't like to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Did you tell your mom about that? Be honest with me. Did you tell your mom that you don't like to talk to me anymore? Please tell me the truth. Did you tell your mom? I told my mommy I don't like to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, man. Uh, okay, I understand your situation. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I mean, who want to talk to me? People, they talk to me. Either they go they go to the hospital, they suffer from madness, or they leave Islam. They get wiser or crazier. Which one is going to be you? Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, guys, again, don't forget to subscribe for the other channel. The admin, they will post for you the link. As I said, Soon we will put this channel for sleep for a couple of weeks and we will do broadcast in the other channel, which means you will not be able to find me unless you subscribe to the new or the other YouTube. 
there we have a couple of thousand only so we want to move a lot of people as a backup for that channel the admin they will post for you the link and they are posting it as you see so please don't forget to subscribe all right uh, <clears throat> yeah will the 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 sun sit in the in the murky water and we have to be honest by the way there's a very very well-known scientist from japan he proved that his name is yama i do lie yama very well known the muslims when they make articles about science and the quran they insert names nobody knows where they are coming from and even names you know them but they never said what they said as an example the muslim they say to you a brother a very well known brother george bernard show brother he said if the prophet today is was alive he can solve all the problem during drinking his more his morning coffee brother okay muslims which book george bernard show he said that <laughs> They fabricate lies. They use names of famous people just to fool you. George Bernard Shaw, he said that. Are you sure? Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe a year or 10 years or 20 years, God knows, Christian Prince, he will die. And then the Muslims, they will say, Christian Prince, Yes, he was attacking Islam, brother. But a second before he, uh, he 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 died, he put his middle finger up and he said shahada. I will not be surprised if they do that. Everybody convert to Islam, brother. Any Abdul? Hmm. Do you know the guy? His name I forgot his name. I used to watch him when I was a kid. They have him in TV in the Middle East. Um, Captain Cousteau. You know, like they dive in the ocean. So I used to watch his program. The Muslims after this guy died, they made him convert to Islam. <laughs> Any anyone, you die tomorrow, you will be said you converted to Islam. Trump, he died, they will say he's a Muslim. He became a Muslim. Let's wait. A cult of Satan who cannot back itself, he fabricate lies. Because cults only stand on lies. They have nothing real, and they cannot stand for a truth. So they need to lie in order to make their religion religion, or their cult look like a religion. Any Abdul? <clears throat> He's still challenging me. Well, I accept that challenge. Actually, the hadith I posted 1,000 times here. Not only, it's not, it's not something new. Correct, guys? And actually, the hadith is just right in the front of me. It's in the front of me in the screen. Waiting for the Abdul to dare to say yes. Hello. And because he knew that what will happen, he will not call me. All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. Did we have enough? Did you guys enjoy being here? What if I what if I go for like a trip or something? You guys, you will miss me. I will miss me. I will. I will. Uh, I will watch my videos because I miss me, and I am like Muhammad. I say something in the morning. I forgot it. Then I re, re, now because I'm lucky. I have videos, so I play my videos, so I can remember what I said in the morning. And uh, uh, Jabril, you know, he will help me. Jabril always. Jabril, the hummus guy. I mean, even Jabril is a joke. This guy Jabril, he come to Muhammad only when Muhammad wanna do poo poo. Have you ever heard of a god? He sent his angel to his prophet when he is doing poo poo. I mean, can't you wait? I don't want to see you breathe in the bathroom. I mean, leave me alone. 
imagine let me show you because they will say is is lying uh, imagine you are now a prophet of Allah and Jibreel is coming to deliver you something when he wait 24 hours all day he come don't come to you the second you go out to go to the bathroom uh, now he want to talk to you I mean this is not even fair this is chapter 1 verse number 1 in the Quran brother the book of Asbab al Nuzul, which means the reason for the verses to come down. Read carefully, brother. Read carefully. What a drama. It says that the Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him, whenever he went out, which means to, to do, excuse me, to do poo poo, he used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. La, 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 like, you know, like, la, 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 la. what the heck? Why the prophet, he flee? Oh, you guys, you don't see the screen? Oh, sorry, I apologize. You don't see the screen. Jibreel did not inspire me. He just did. Do you see it? I mean, obviously, Muhammad is a prophet. Look at this. The guy, Jibreel, come to him only when he would do poo-poo. Muhammad and Zip, zip he said, zip, and then he heard the voice, oh, Muhammad. And then what Muhammad, he do, brother, when he hear the voice, he flee. Have you ever heard of a comedy show like this? Even Charlie Chaplin cannot do that. Charlie Chaplin, he go out to do poo-poo, he hear a voice, says to him, oh, Charlie. And Charlie, like, and he start running with his shoes going in opposite direction. So it's for sure Prophet Muhammad is a prophet. Hey, Muhammad, you saw and you heard the angel many times before, so now why you are running? Anybody can tell me why he's fleeing? Why? I wonder how, I wonder why. You told me about the blue, blue sky and all what I can see. Muhammad fleeing around me. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see, the prophet fleeing from me. I think the song actually written for Muhammad case in that day. Muhammad, he heard the voice. He turned his head. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see, a lemon tree, nothing around me. I mean, isn't it obvious? It's written for the prophet's story. What an inspiration. Unbelievable. Very beautiful. Now, I'm going to finish for today and I need to make some tea. Who want to drink some tea with me? I wish really I can. I am sure many of you are as good to have to, to have a good time with you. And we will like, you know, we to be together. But sadly, you know, Jibril is not uh, bringing us the flying carpet where I can send it to you and he can bring you over here. And you know, who, who used to own the flying carpet? Anyone knows? Who used to own the flying carpet? Anyone remember? Nobody remember? Solomon. Uh, this is all the news. It's my dad, brother. <laughs> because, uh, brother, we are up, we are pirates, and we hijacked the Solomon uh, ship, and we took the, the carpet from the ship, brother. And then my, my dad, brother, he came bring me to America by the carpet. I did not pay for ticket, brother. I passed all security, immigration, and Trump could not stomp me by the help of the flying carpet. And by the way, don't just keep that secret because I don't want the FBI to know about the flying carpet in my house. And then they will go and they come and they arrest me because they will accuse me I'm a smuggling immigrant. Flying carpet, Muhammad. I mean, even flying carpet in your book. I mean, what is left? What is left? <laughs> even a flying carpet. <laughs> I want to get one. I am desperately in need of a flying carpet, so I will not pay for airplane ticket. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you all, and I hope the Muslims will not hate me much. Uh, but it's okay if you hate me, I understand. But trust me, I don't hate you. I really try. I'm trying to help you, my friend. You Muslims, you are, you are not 
you know you, you are not listening to your mind and your heart we don't hate you we are trying to help you but you understand it that we are making fun of your cult but what I can do it's a stupid thing and I believe the only way to wake up somebody sometime is comedy to show him how silly what he believe in it is really silly it is really silly to believe that God is a vagina vendor God he will increase the size of your penis God will make your penis never sleep God will make little boys a servant for you which is a child abuse for eternity as you claim this is cannot be God God is about justice and it's not justice to give me women for sex and boys to serve for eternity just because I believe in God God is not stupid who says stupid things as we see in the Quran there's no ethic there's no intelligence there's no wisdom there's nothing but abuse and violence and madness and this is why we reject the cult of Islam please join us when we go next time and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel which the admins are posting for you because as I said soon we will move there and you will not be able to follow us if you don't subscribe thank you for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again. Bye-bye.